this is probably one of the more underrepresented pieces of like DC lore. Um, this is actually 100% true. In 1998, there was a post reporter, a Washington Post reporter who went back through since the years since 1990 and tied uh, big international domestic events to pizza sales by talking to um, pizza like chain owners, uh, you know, mom and pop uh, restaurant owners, like everything. And this is what she found is actually pretty ridiculous. For example, uh, August 1st, 1990, the CIA ordered 21 pizzas uh, to its headquarters in Langley. And the next day, Iraq invaded Kuwait, which started the first Gulf War. Then there's this one here, January 1998, the White House orders $2,600 worth of pizza from the 16th to the 20th. Um, the news of the Monica Lewinsky scandal broke on the 17th. And here's another like example of that from the 17th of December to the 20th of December 1998. The Capitol orders $11,600 worth of pizza on December 19th. They, the House votes to impeach then President Clinton. At the end of the day, it's not really a secret that this country is kept afloat by swarms of staffers, right? Not the politicians, not the officials, not the, the, the secretary of the interior, but the people on their teams, the people in their buildings who are working every single day to keep this country afloat. And like when crises strike, those are the people who are staying late, who are working long hours, who are busting their behinds uh, to make it happen and to keep everything going. And when you hear news of like a government shutdown or a last minute deal, don't be don't think that that was your favorite politician who negotiated that. It was not. It was their staff. They were probably eating pizza. They were probably working in their suits till two, three in the morning just to make sure this country stays running. And I think this data more than anything speaks to that. The idea that no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated you are at government, you just got to keep in mind that there are swarms of people just like you and I who believe in this country who are like working their tails off to keep us going.